let's make a super pretty sign for Valentine's Day using a pizza pan from Dollar Tree. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy if you didn't know. And if you did, thanks so much for coming back. All right, we're going to start with a pizza pan and I'm going to paint just the edges with some chalk paint. The color is Spanish moss. Then I have a calendar from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use a splatter screen to cut around, you know, to make the circle. But then I thought, oh, I need a tag. So I had these stupid coffin pieces. Dumb. I just cut it down to a tag shape. I know, but they're easy to cut. It's fine. But this is how my brain works, right? I'm like, oh, let's do this instead. Don't worry. We'll get back to the other one. But first, we're going to do the tag. And I have these rub on um, decals from Dollar Tree. And I'm just cutting out the X's and O's from it. And you just put it on the tag and then rub it in an easy peasy. Peel off the top and stop. Look at how cute this is. I love it. All right. Yes, we're getting back to our own original thing. <laughs> So I'm just tracing with the splatter screen going over just to make the circle for our pizza pan. And I'm just going to cut it out. Um, and then I'm actually adding some holes with my crocodile to the pizza pan. I suppose you could tape um, a, a hanger on it, but I like putting the holes in. And then I just added some jute for a hanger. And there's that. Love it. All right. So then we're going to put some Mod Podge on the center of our sign. Um, I put a pretty good amount on. You don't want to go crazy, but you also don't want it to be super thin and let it dry. Once it's dry, we're going to take out our cut, take out our cut out piece <laughs> of our calendar page. And I'm putting a piece of parchment paper on top and I'm just ironing it. So it's all sealed. And it comes out so nice like that. I just, I love it. There's no wrinkles. It's awesome. So back to that little tag. I thought it needed something. So I just added a little cotton bow to it. Um, it's just cotton um, ribbon. That's all it is. Then I had this heart lace from Dollar Tree and I decided to put, um, I'm just gluing it all around the edges. Now I will be honest, look at, you could leave it right there. That's super pretty, right? But you know, I can't stop there. My sister from Berkshire Pickers had given me this um, garland from Dollar General. And I am going to glue it all the way around our pizza pan. Um, I started gluing and then I decided I wanted to cut off the excess because this thing is gangly. It's all over the place. So put glue on. I would encourage you to hold it in place just for a moment or two because it does have a tendency to want to pop off. Then. I'm going to just add some extra sprigs if it looks like it's a little sparse, which mine did. It was fine um, just because I had an excess piece. So I just pulled it off of that. Then I back to the tag. This is how my mind works when I craft. I'm all over the place, <laughs> but I just distressed it a little with a, um, it was just an ink pad. And then I glued it on to where the little tag is on the calendar piece. Cute, right? Now you could stop there but you know I won't. So now I'm going to add a bunch of little wooden hearts from Dollar Tree all over and stop it. Like quit it. Look at how pretty this. I think it's so pretty. It's romantic and kind of, I don't know. It just is really pretty to me. You may not agree, but that's okay. It might give you an idea. It might spur an idea even better. Yay. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching. And I hope this inspires you.